Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And so I've been kind of like on a rant over how to like inflate things in Houdini lately, and I I will continue that rant because I have a few more things that I want to show you guys. So in the previous tutorial on like how to inflate selected areas, we created this um, interesting kind of like you know weird inflation thing. Um, so. How do we go about like so that it's not like super fast right right now it just like totally inflates real fast so what we're gonna do is rest length back to zero so it's basically not really inflating or doing anything right now we're gonna come inside of our vellum solver and we're gonna drop down a vellum configure properties Vellum configure constrained properties. So like this, let's come to manual so that we can actually like move around. And we're gonna animate the rest length scale from one to whatever number you want. So from one to 11. And let's come here, go to auto and come to say for example back here let's hit play and there we go you can see that the uh inflation is now going to happen over time And right now it's getting all wonky. So let's see what we can do about it. Um, split top and bottom, file new, animation editor. And let's select this and like first reduce the amount of inflation. So reducing the amount of inflation definitely helps. Um, let's see. On the pressure rest length scale is set to one. I'm gonna try to see what happens if we increase our sub steps. And we take our constraint iterations to 135. You know, of course, it becomes slower, but at the same time, um, it's just more accurate and more, more stable of a simulation. Cool, so we can see that working like that. Let's test it out with something else, like a different kind of geometry. Maybe with a few spheres, it's good to check it out with something like that. Um, so let's see. We are going to go back to the start. Drop down a grid and let's scatter some points. Copy to points. And we only want to have like four three or four spheres. I'm gonna do a remesh 
here so that we can have triangulated geometry. And I am going to make the target size like 1.5. Nice, we can see them inflate. And let's start to tweak a few parameters. So I think that um, we can increase our stiffness, stretch stiffness. And I also wanna increase our bend stiffness. Let's see what happens with like 10,000 and 1,000. It just becomes a little bit unstable after a certain number. Let's see, we reduce the amount of inflation and Let's uh, increase our pressure here, our stiffness. And that's nice because it's it's uh, it's uh, starting to work. Uh, but I want to kind of show you guys a little bit of collision. So I'm gonna do a point attract, attract a pop attract, and connect it here. And um, let's just make this point sort of here and increase the force scale a little bit. So now they're inflating gradually and also being attracted to that point, which is kind of cool, um, but looks like they're super stiff now. So let's see what happens if we reduce that. Yeah, and that's cool because right now they start to feel like um yeah like organic which is kind of what i wanted and and they kind of interact with themselves um it starts to feel to get a little bit out of out of hand when when we go up to so much rest length pressure so i'm gonna reduce it a little bit so that i can have a better result um obviously tweaking the values will also give you uh, another solution or like playing with the sub steps um, but for for me it's fine if I decrease that pressure a little bit so that we can keep this resolution and um, and keep that interaction so we have some like sexy spheres playing with each other here <laughs> um, alright guys uh, it's been a pleasure and I will be back with more